at the nice grandpa. Family. Hello. Who is it? He's the Uncle Gideon lad. Come home. And not a four time. Can you find no more wood out back? No one wants dry. Feet don't burn so well. Oh, we better food in poor house. I can't remember. You're lucky. Let's have some. Please. Go on then. Give it here, pal. Is your foot not mended? It'll do. Got my letter. I did. Who wrote for you this time? I wrote it. I wrote it myself. Never. Oh, these will bear witness. Our poor Betsy's lads. Joseph, did not see me put pen to paper. Hi, Grandpa. He wrote three lines. Then I ran to Rycliffe and sent it by the penny post. So, they make themselves useful. Aye, they've had to. Sick. We've got to keep ahead of Grandpa. The boys don't ever do that. That's how it is. Women folk spin, men folk does weaving. Why? What's it matter as long as there's cloth to sell? I can smell bacon. Just a bit. Last at pig. You haven't tasted right good lately. I can't have salted him down proper. He were a nice pig, were Alfred. Mm. Why does Grandpa call him young Gideon? He's older than us. Because he's our my youngest brother, that's why. Will he stay and help Grandpa? Maybe. We've got to show him we'll not be a burden. Right? Not to spill milk, nor leave his tools in long grass, nor get poorer. But Grandpa'd never turn us out to starve, would he? Two lasses and all. I couldn't leave them in work out, could I? You ready for a breather? Yeah, I'm fine. Aye, why not? <clears throat> Two years since I climbed this track. Two year and three months. I know what to bring you, Pa. I could have fetched the sin. What work could I do? There's no wages worth having except in the towns. And they're not fit to live in, to my mind. They've been tramping all the while, then? Aye. All over Lancashire. <laughs> what does thou know about cotton, eh? I never touched cotton. I've got some brass, though. Good Friday, the workers was off. Huh? Guess who climbed inside boiler to scrape it out? <laughs> They would have taken our Betsy's children for manufacturing the nose. Right. You did right to bring them away. Only family care, seemingly. Let's get in. Well, they always as quiet as this. Aye, oh, when they're supping. Boots all the stops their mouths as a rule. Ah, well, there's not much of that left. Why don't we have a bit of candle? See what they've got to say for themselves. Aye, oh, use it, lass. We can buy more now the uncle's come. I oh, will soon have more daylight to work by. They're being good for thy sake. I'm not a stranger, am I? Might as well be in chapel. Is there any more bread? 
Uh, none's found its way into your pocket, has it, Roger, eh? Now, when I was your age, you used to hide a piece of bread in my pocket. Save it for later. Uh, ah, well, I'm not wasting this good gravy. Gideon, for shame! Can we all do that, Grandpa? Now, lick up the rest. Clean his plate wins. <laughs> Anna, what do they look like, eh? Not like there was in chapel, that's for sure. <laughs> It'll make them unruly before he's done. No coal to wash dishes. No water to wash dishes. Sal forgot to fetch it. Sit down. No one leaves this table afore Grace has said. Or has they forgot. Aye, I minded better now how it were, Pa. Smiling faces round this table and a big lass like Anna here to keep us in order. Was that our mother? She went to heaven when our Sal were born. Guess who had to look after Sal? Uh, any beer, Pa? Not a drop. Not to have your pipe after supper? No backing, not lately. Uh, I couldn't say much in three line, but... You wrote a clear hand, Pa. We'll have water, then. Me and Joseph will fetch it, lad. Uh, when your Grandpa's given thanks. Oh, Lord. We give the humble thanks for thy special bounty. You didn't any money while she was away. Not enough, lad. It's time I was earning. I'm ten. I'll be back at the workhouse and Grandpa with us. Does he say that? He says the Lord will provide. We'll fix you up between us. Joseph, did anyone from courts or workhouse explain to you what becoming your father? Only that he'd done wrong and had to pay for it. Since the father get visited on the children, that's what he said. Who did? The workhouse guardian. <sighs> Would you go take that lamp up to Grandpa? He'll strain his eyesight. And go to bed. You too, Sal. Good morning, Not for long. Come on, Sal, I'll light the stairs for you. Is he safe for the lamp? Oh, he promised. Oh, I'll let him. I'll hold my breath and pray. So? What was the sin of your father, eh? Disobedience. Who came to harm? Nobody. We were a convict. They sent him all the way to Australia. He must have done wrong, else why were you all punished? What if I tell you he did right, Hannah? He left us to starve. Before he were transported, we had his wages coming in. We had beef regular. And he pulled plugs on factory engine boiler. Nobody could work. To make the parliament and employers take notice. Poor people have to work all hours for low wages. Rich people do no work and take all the profit. He went out writing too. He never. We was there. Nobody got hit or nothing. But there was this meeting about a charter in the market square. He wouldn't go home when he were told. Stood there with his arms folded, refusing to budge. So he was arrested. That's what he was, a chartist. He did right. We need a charter. To give all men a fair say, to give working people their rights. Are you a chartist, Uncle Gideon? Aye. But I'm not an hero like your father. Grandpa said he were a troublemaker. Leave your grandpa to me. And you two. Get some rest. Oh, now, Betsy. And I found what George Coffin had told her. You're the great John Wesley, a troublemaker. You've no quarrel with him. You're a Methodist, aren't you? Now, that's different. Religion is above politics. I dare say the ruling class called our Lord a troublemaker for helping the poor. What do you say to that? Wind me a bob in a weff, young Gideon. It'll sell useful. Seemingly, there has to be trouble if you want to change for the better. They won't listen to reason. Who are they, anyway? The mighty them. They what won't let grain prices be cheap, so poor can't afford the daily bread. I don't know who we're law-breaking. They, whoever they are, make the law part. How dare they, without our say-so? Why are we every age? You've left me no room, you. It's the will of God, I tell thee. How can it be? Want to listen? Time were. This loom, my skill and a parcel of land, kept a family. They wanted for now when they was to grow in, lad. You're up against machines now, Pa. Now our Betsy's with the angels, begging me to look after her little mites. I can't let her down. Listen! Listen.
A young'uns can work. They're bright and willing. What at? What can they work at? Rycliffe Mill, like I did when they were short-handed. Rycliffe? He's been shut down all winter. River froze solid. Yeah, well, spring's come now, Pa. It's worth a try. They're going to send us for jobs? Hey! Hey! We'll have to be here by six o'clock if they take us on. Will you be coming with us, Uncle Gideon? Well, if they want me. They're more likely they want you to. Why? You're cheaper. What will they pay us? Shilling. Maybe two a week to start. Each? Oh. Morning. 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 We've got no wages at workhouse. Well, don't start building your hopes too high. There's not much doing by the looks on it. What's to do, Ned? Well, if it did, did it First supper veil to pass me lips were out of your tanker. How are you? <laughs> Well, better since weather booked its ideas up. Good, we were laid off. Aye. You can't rely on water power. Not in a hard frost. Weird, it was. Eerie. The old valley, quiet and still. This here ice store, that thick, I could skate on it. Went flat on my back and all. <laughs> you may well smile. Who's are these? Uh, Hannah Coggan and Joseph Coggan. My sister Betsy's. I wondered if they was out for us. Here. Nay, lad, I'm sorry. We've half the workforce waiting to be taken back on. We lost orders that were scooped up by big factories with steam engines. The towns are making paupers of us all. Aye. Can they not ask a bit more for it? You know my price, Dad. And what my machine cloth being so cheap and plentiful, I'll be looking for that. I'll do the best then, eh? Believe me, if customers were fighting over hand-woven pieces, you'd get the most. There's never a flaw. Aye. Yeah, right, Zeke. Come on, let's go. Oi, 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 oi. That's the only good news for us this week, then, eh? Huh? Oh, aye. Our Annie's old cock -a hoop She's to be second laundry maid at Westmore Hall. Hey, are the owners coming? Next month. Housekeepers getting in supplies. A grand spring clean in prospect. Let's hope they stay this time. All summer, please, God. Let the gentry spend their money where it's needed. Aye. In these parts, eh? <laughs> Come on. See the end chapel then, Walter. Hey, hang on a minute. I'll keep my ears open. As would any working man who could do a good turn for George Coggan's family. You heard what George did? He would drink a toast of him when he was transported but back in the charter. Mm. Took all my courage to sign the petition to Parliament. Oh, I signed that. Could hardly punish nigh on two million of us. Much good it did. Mm. Come on, we're a long walk, Ed. Ah, if you're seeking work, you'll need a strong pair of legs. The canal's busy if you can keep on that far. Right. Thanks, Ned. Bye. Bye. I'd like to work in there. You heard what he said. Old mills can't compete with big factories. Please, Grandpa. Lots and lots of boys go to work at eight year old. Well, it's not steady enough. I've been to school lots of times. Oh, a week or two last Michaelmas. Here, Sal. Try here. And I can make letters. Look, I learned half a roger. And I can read the Testament. I can read that any day. We only scripture held upside down. What about verses that aren't learnt by art, eh? Me, I'd love to go to school. It's warm. Couldn't you do a good man along? Not today, thanks. My dad's managed to stay sober. Ah. Uh, and some fresh paint. Had not us to do in canal throws. It's very uh, decorative. Takes a steady hand, that's all. No chance, then? <laughs> of a job. Well... What's your name? Gideon Harrop, from up above Rycliffe. I'm Abigail Reed from Nowhere Special, born and bred on the canals. Must be a good living. It used to be. Canals won't freeze again for months. You've all spring and summer and autumn yet. Yeah, and then what? With the railway coming through this valley. What? You didn't know. They've dug to the other side of Mountain Ridge. 
Once they've tunneled through and laid the lines, it'll take our trade. A railway always does. <gasps> Whoa, thanks, love. Best news in ages, that. Maybe for some. I could be handy with a pick and shovel. Oh, watch your step, Uncle Gideon. You're falling. <laughs> hey, Gideon Arab. I'll be looking out for you. Our Walter's lass will put in a word for her. Hey, Anna, wait till you'll see inside Westmore Hall. I'm at a sleep then. Aye, well, job lasts. That'll be rough work, mine, spring cleaning. Shall we sleep in the tunnel, Uncle Gideon? <laughs> it's not made yet, lad. We'll have to dig it for them first. I don't know where we'll sleep. Uh, it's just got here and now there's off again. Time we're a family stayed together and shared work. The man's got to sell his strength, Pa. Aye, while he's got any left. Uncle Gideon and me, we we'll won't go. I want to come and you won't let me. Sit down, we've not said grace. I can work. Roger! Me. Roger! Sit down! Come back here. Come here. Please, God, not my lamp. Broken, is it? Aye. Come here. Sorry, Glenn. Sorry? Come outside, I'll make you sorry. We bless thee for sending all that is needful. Tribulation to try our patience. Next to his loom, that lamp was your grandpa's most valuable possession. And that's where it should be. Next to his loom. So as he can see to work into the night. I didn't mean to break it. Day and night he has to work to live. Are you with me? Now, what are you planning on doing to make up? I don't know, Cook Gideon. Ah, well, I'll tell you. He'll take over all of his other jobs so he can see to work by daylight. He'll see to it his walls mend us so his sheep don't stray. He'll tend to his vegetable patch. And if he can earn a few coppers, he'll put them toward a new lamp. And... And what? Do as you bid. Go to school. Make him proud of you. There lies the way. It's not above four mile. And he'll meet you at the turnpike road. Mine, now they goes. Goodbye. Goodbye, Uncle Gideon. Joe. I wish we had only four mile to walk. Best foot forward, Joe. It's 20 mile to Mankin Ridge. Goodbye, Grandpa. Fare thee well, young man. <laughs>